All right, so let's work on 5.2.5, connect patch panel cable. You are a network technician for a small corporate network. Today you moved a new workstation to Office One and you now need to connect the computer to the Ethernet, the local area network and the internet. In this lab, your task is to connect the workstation to the wired network as follow. Okay, so in the network closet, so this is the closet. So this is the first step. Okay, it says, use the appropriate twisted pair cable to make the connection between the patch panel and switch. Okay, so let's zoom in. So this is the, the patch where you can see Office One. Let me zoom in a bit more. And let's choose a cable. So let's choose an ethernet. Take the first bit to Office One. There you go, that's Office One. And then the other end, it says to port three on Cisco. So this is Cisco and port three is one, two and three, but also you can see a three over here. Let me cl get closer and you can see number three. So let's add the other bit here. Okay, with this, we would have finished the first two steps and now it says go back to office one. So let's go to office one. Let's go to the hardware and then it says, Connect the Office One desktop computer to the local area network using the appropriate cable. All right, so let's use as well an Ethernet for this one. This one works. So let's add this bit over here. And then the other bit, um, let me turn the PC first. Get closer. So it's gonna be over here. Click on the cable again and click it. Okay, so now we've added the cable as they asked. Configure the Office desktop computer to obtain IP and DNS address automatically from the DHCP server on the lower right. So let's do that. So they want us to receive both automatically. Oops, why do they do that front? Now let's go in. Let's go type settings. Let's go to network and internet. As you can see here, there is no internet. So let's go to, go to the ethernet, scroll down. You see where it say IP address and DNS, it's manual. Let's change this to automatic and save. So now we see that both changed at once. And now use the setting app to configure. Let's go back to network. Now it's connected. So just let's double check that it worked. So Let's click on the search. Okay, so Google opens. So let's call the lab. All right, so we've got 100. 